video, we're going to find unreconciled transactions. Now the exercise we're going to follow along with is over here on the right hand side. And this is pulled from our advanced level pro advisor certification course, which if you would like more information about that course, after we go through the exercise, be sure to click on the link below in the description. Let's dive right in and read our scenario for today. When looking at last month's bank statement for the savings account, there shows a transfer of $200 from the checking to the savings account. This old transaction was never reconciled. So how can you look for this transaction? Let's find out. You will need to be in the sample company to do this exercise. If you're not sure how to get into the sample company or get your own free QBOA account, be sure to click on the link below in the description. I have the sample company pulled up here on the left hand side. This is the dashboard and this is where we are going to work in today's exercise. So let's go ahead and get started. From the left navigation bar, we're going to hover over transactions and then select chart of accounts. The left nav bar is over here. Um, we are going to hover over transactions and then select chart of accounts. And the reason we're doing this is because we are looking for the savings chart of account or uh, sorry, the savings account in the chart of accounts. There we go. So on the savings line, you're going to click view register. That is the second one right here. Go ahead and click on view register to get more detail. If you get any pop-ups, just go ahead and click out of those. It's just QBO trying to be extra helpful. Now you will notice here that there are two different transactions. One is not reconciled and one is reconciled. And the way that you can tell is that on this column right here, it's the second to last column, you will see this one has an R next to, next to it, which as I hover over, you can see there's a little pop-up that says that this is reconciled. This one does not have an R, so this one is not reconciled. Now, if you had numerous transactions and you only wanted to see the unreconciled um, transactions, you would just use a filter. So to use that filter, uh, let's assume that there's a ton of transactions in here and you wanted to see just the unreconciled ones, you would click on the filter icon and then in the reconcile status field, select non, or excuse me, not reconciled. So the filter is right here. Go ahead and click on that. You see this reconcile status. Go ahead and click on the down arrow and now you will click on not reconciled. Go ahead and click on the green apply button. And now you are just seeing the one transaction that was not reconciled. Um, this is the, the, one the one transaction that was not reconciled is the only one that appears as I, just meant, as I just mentioned. So from here, you could reconcile the savings account. We're not gonna be doing that as part of this exercise, but that would be the next step. And that is how you would find unreconciled transactions. Now, if you like this exercise and you want to do more like it, or if you would like more information about the advanced level pro advisor certification course, be sure to click on the link below in the description, and I will see you in the next exercise.